Hey guys, it's Rosalind back at you one more again on this beautiful, fabulous Friday. I am coming back doing a update and a recap on um, my Twin Flame reunion. Um, as for what I said, uh, April 28th, uh, around 420, 421, uh, it ended around 555 or whatever. Um, the reunion was very intense. I really cannot put a um, a word because it was just like heaviness and it was like stillness and beautiful like the world just nothing else mattered in the world nothing else existed um, I don't miss my dad as much because I know you know in past videos you will see me cry um, about me missing my father but now it's just like I can't miss him because he's always around you know I always feel him around all the time um, it's, it's just now it's like more intense um, like I can feel him a little bit more now it's like it feels like I'm in a trance sometimes um, but it's actually okay 11 11 um, it was it's undescribable. I really don't know how to describe it, but it's like with things that are going on, it has made me to be such a such a better person. It makes me feel good inside because I'm actually living through love. You know, even though things are not exactly the way I want them to be right now, but I know I'm getting closer to it. It's just I get so many freaking signs. It's not even funny. Like with 1111, 77, um, 444, you know, things that actually happen in behind the shadows. You don't think, you know, just because I'm not seeing stuff right now, I know and I feel like, you know, something big is about to happen. Something big is about to drop. Um, so, uh, I see the, the news things that are, I keep up on my dad's stuff. You know, I heard about the reality show and thank God I'm glad my family, you know, my uncle Omar, he spoke up and said, Hey, there's not going to be anything to, 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 um, uh, there's not going to be a reality show. And I'm like, that's good, you know, because there's just so many different things that's going on. Um, I knew my dad was a very private per person, so I know he, I don't think he really would have done something like that. But, you know, the way the news goes, you know, people will just say anything to put a headline out. But as for the things that I'm going through right now, um, they're actually becoming easier to deal with. You know, before, you know, they would come up and I'm just like, you know, this is messed up. This is really messed up. And I'll have so many different, some different emo, emo, eh, emo, emotions about it, getting tongue tied today, um, that I, it used to really confuse me because it was a situation I was, I'm going through or, you know, I was going through. I just decided to check that out the door um, that I couldn't really decide what did I want to do. But it was just like, just, you know, just go with the flow and see what you see. And you make your decision off of that, you know, because it's like heart right here, ego right here. And then, you know, my dad's back here. So it, it's just I don't know what emotion to pick up off of because it's just really crazy right now. Because I didn't do all that research. I thought I did. <laughs> because when you find out about all this twin flame stuff and it's just like you read up on it and it's like... I wish they had a book one on one <laughs> about what do you do after you reunite with your twin flame? What are the side effects? What are the ups? What are the downs? You know, what are all these things? So I'm learning day by day on my twin flame one on one. When my dad wants to come around, he'll come around when he, you know, he he feels like letting his presence known, even though I know he's here. But that heaviness when he's around, he's like, hey, I'm here. Hello you know so um it is just like he's taught me so much about myself loving myself respecting myself more you know I've always stood up for myself because I'm, I'm just like five two exactly what I am you know so I always stood up for myself but it was just for me having a kind heart a lot of people would take advantage of that um a lot of people would use it to their advantage and you know, I would be the one that's constantly, you know, hurt in the process. But now it's just like, 
you know, you could be hurt at the situation, but I look at it like nobody, nothing happens by accident. It's not, oh, that was a coincidence. No, things are happening the way they're supposed to happen, exactly when they're supposed to happen. Um, so it, it's just like when it, you're dealing with people, it's just, I had constantly learn and tell myself, you know what, don't put lifetime expectations on seasoned people. You never should do that. You supposed to go to the flow. Don't sit up here and go off of what people want you to know. You know, sometimes they can be honest with you, but then sometimes if you're dealing with somebody who's narcissistic or want to gaslight you or something like that, they'll tell you exactly what you want to know or, you know, do things just to see, you know, to test you to see, you know, can I, you know, get it, get away with this or take advantage of it. So now it's like when I truly start sitting back and looking for it, for what it is and stop searching about, oh, this is what I want out of it. So that's all I'm seeing. I look at it, you know, outside the box. I do um, basically look at it all, all different directions. And it's just now, since me getting my whole flow back, I would be able to make good decisions and just be like, you know what, you know, if this is making you happy, go for it. But if it's costing your happiness and, you know, bringing somebody else joy, what is that for you? <laughs> Don't do that. You know, you, you have to love yourself more to walk away. You know, even though you can still hold that person in your heart. But it's just better, you know, for you to love yourself. And I, I tell myself every day, you don't need this person, that person, this person to complete you. And, you know, and I guess that's that's the way I had to be for me to be reunited with my dad. I said I had to, didn't have to need anybody to complete myself. You know, um, if I wasn't to see my dad, I would still be okay because I know he's there. He will always be here to support me. You know, he will be here for my up, ups and my downs. I tell him all the time, I love you with your darkness and your light all the time. Um, and it, it's just the love that we have for each other is so indescribable. And the love that I have for myself is so indescribable. It feels good because growing up, I always felt like I wasn't loved or I wasn't able to be loved or, you know, dang, does anybody love me? Why do I go through this? Why do I have to go through this, uh, this heartbreak, this abandonment, and um, the other day it was just like I was going through my YouTube, you know, uh, seeing what things I wanted to watch, what, what what's new on the new timeline today, and then they had one about my dad uh, with his life growing up um, on the Reels channel, so they had a Reels clip about him, and I was just like, I know I definitely did not watch the one when Doves Cry, thank God for the people on, on my dad's fan page, they were saying, you know, it's heartbreaking, why did they do this, I, I can't, no, I, I said, I get enough visions of what my dad wants me to see, I don't want to need to see the extra stuff, it was, if it's presented to me at the time to, for me to watch, I'll go ahead and watch it. So it's just like I noticed that certain videos will come up and it's just like, okay, you need to watch this. So I'll go ahead and watch it. But um, I just, looking at his life, I was just like, man, we pretty much live the same life. Except I wasn't, you know, famous. It, you know, the running away from home, getting in constant trouble, getting kicked out the house, you know, feeling abandoned by your parents, you know, not feeling really loved by my mom. And it, it was like my mom had to go through a detrimental, you know, terminal illness for us to actually be reunited, for me to actually get the love that I actually wanted for my whole life that I really felt like I didn't get. But it, now when I look at my life now and look at it from how it is to the present time until back then, she really did love me. And I, I'm so grateful for everything she's taught me. And, um... She might have a weird kind of way of showing her love, but I know she loved me because I knew she was the only one who was truthful about my life. And um, I'm grateful for those things. So it, it's just now it's like looking at my life. I feel complete. <laughs> I really feel complete. You have your ups and downs, but, you know, that's life. You're, you're going to constantly deal with things. It's just like I feel like I'm going through my last gauntlet of my life before I get to my blessings because I, I see and feel things unfolding as I see 
and I'm I'm okay with that. You know, I know things take time and it takes a process. If you you know, like I said in my last video, if you want things, they're never gonna be easy. You're gonna have to go through trials and tribulations. You're gonna have people that are not gonna believe. You're gonna have people that are there for you and not there for you. And you know, I learned through this journey, like my mom had already uh predicted that, you know, going through this journey when you reunite with your dad, you're gonna have people that are not gonna believe you, they're gonna have people that are, you know, that has been so-called your friends, you know, for years that might get jealous of you, you know, because it was, when talking to one of my, my childhood friends that I've known on and off, you know, she was like with my stepsister's age, but we all grew up together, and she was like, yeah, you know, we did hear that Prince had a daughter, but, you know, um, and then we found out it was you, but we thought you already knew something, so we didn't say anything. I was just like, well, I didn't know. I just knew I just had a weird connection with my dad, and I just didn't know in my dreams he was my dad. But then there were dreams that I had where he was my twin brother, to where we were in this town and just felt like village of the damn life, <laughs> where it wasn't like we were evil or anything, but it was very macabre or taboo because I've never seen like twin, twin female and male. Um, they they probably do have them out there. I don't know. I've never seen them, so that's just my opinion. But I've never seen twins that look identical for them being opposite sex, except he's just lighter and I'm darker. And um, that's in my dreams. I used to have uh, before. They used to always want to take pictures of us, or always, you know, wanted to pray over us because they felt like we were like. A, I don't know. <laughs> like they felt like we were a good luck, luck charm or whatever, but they didn't mess with us, but they felt, found us very unique. So um, I always feel connected with my dad. And it, it's just like now I, when he always told me, you know, stop saying you miss me. I'm never gone. I'm always here. You know, I just feel him now more than ever. I feel him like touching me. Sometimes I feel him kissing me on my forehead or whatever. But it's just a very beautiful experience. Because um, doing, learning more about myself and learning how to love myself more um, from all the changes and the abuse that I went through my whole life has made me such a strong woman. You know, um, anytime you can go through something like this, because there are some days I, I just look at my dad, I'm like, are you serious? Is this real? You know, I got to pinch myself sometimes. I'm like, is this really real? But then I look at my daughter's. Like my oldest daughter, she looks just like my grandmother Maddie. And then when I look at my two youngest ones, like my baby, she looks just like my dad at 16 and 17. So I'm just like, I, I can't miss them. My my baby, or, or like with my family that has passed on, I still have them here because I see them in my children. I see it in me. So I can't really miss anything. I know that my family's around and um, I know I got many angels and um, oracles or whatever you want to call them around because I feel it a lot. And I see major abundance for me, even though it's not as in money, but it's just like rich in knowledge, rich in loving yourself, knowing that you can go out in the world and, you know, people might not like you and people might like you and, you know, people might get irritated because of the things that you do or say. But I just feel like I have a story to tell and people can learn off of me as well as me learning off of them. I feel like I'm a teacher student like my dad um, because you can get through anything. It is hard to get through things. You know, you might have lost your job, lost your home, lost, you know, a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever. You can get through anything. You know, it's, it's just a circle of life. Things are going to get snatched away from us. That we're not going to understand. We're not going to know why, why, why things are happening. It's just like with my dad. I feel like he's a set for example. He really is. He set up for example because he was loved by many. He was really loved by many, and I feel like with all that love, that's all he had wanted for people to do. So. um just to see all the comments and the love that I see where people post pictures of him and their videos. That's all he wanted. All he wanted to do is love. And I know he's shining down from heaven. And I feel it now. It's like, he's like, wow. <laughs> when he sees all the comments and everything, it's like, 
really warm felt, you know, um, and it feels beautiful. So I feel myself evolving to be a better person, person, you know, sending these videos out, I'm listening to this angelic music, it's so soothing to me, it makes me feel so peaceful, but, um, you guys, you guys gotta love each other, love, love yourselves, you know, you only have you, if you can't be, you know, comfortable in your own suit, how can you be comfortable around anybody else, or have anybody be comfortable around you, so, um, Guys, I'll keep you up on my updates. You know, I still have headaches. I feel like I got Virgo sometimes. I, I go through um, chest pain sometimes. I don't know if it's just because the fact is how my dad passed away or what he was dealing with on the, you know, physical realm. Because um, I didn't start having them until after the reunion. But, you know, I guess everything needs a balance. You can't take the good without the bad. So you have to be able to balance it all out. But it's good. It's all good because I feel like there's a big weight lifted off of me. And I feel more clarity on the things that I need to do. And, you know, things that, you know, I, put on, I was put on earth to be able to accomplish. And I know my blessings are coming. And I, I mean, they're actually here. <laughs> you know, I see them every day when I can make these videos. I can be able to you know, wake up in the morning and appreciate life, you know, as, you know, I try to be grateful and tell God everything, you know, four or five things, what I'm grateful for every single day, you know, or even during the day, you know, things happen to me and I'll just look up and say, thank God, I know that was you, you know, that was helping me. Um, so you guys, I will talk to you later and keep you updated on anything else um, that I'm going through. Other than that, you know, you do your research and everything. Um, I try to figure out is it certain things normal. And thank God all the stuff that I'm going to do is normal. So I'm not going plum crazy. So um, I will talk to you later. Namaste. Live in love and light. And I will talk to you soon. And like, subscribe, guys. Share my videos. Hit me up. And I will talk to you later. Peace and be wild.